Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Blog Based Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to create a single post page template. And we also discussed how to export all of the templates that you have created in the site editor and how to download them and then export them to your theme. And now in this video, uh, I'm going to explain to you what's happening in each of those files. And I'm also going to help you understand how to go ahead and uh, create a single page block template. Okay, uh, I think one thing we did miss was uh, the single.html. So let's just add that here. So let's, be so let's begin with the index.html page template and see what's happening over here. So first thing you see over here is kind of a comment, right? So what's this comment? Well, this is actually the block grammar. So it's a common delimiter. So what is a block grammar? If you go to the documentation on WordPress, now the block grammar basically is an HTML comment, either a self closing tag or with beginning and ending tag. And the main tag, depending on the block type and the user customization, they can be JSON object. So you can have a key value pair here. Okay, and this is the raw form of the blog and that's referred to as serialized. So the static blocks contain rendered content and object of attributes that are used to re-render based on the changes. So, okay. so this maintains uh, any of the changes with that information. So let's take a look closely. So you can see, so for block template part, the name is actually WP colon template part. And then you have the JSON object where you have the slug with the you keep with the key value pair slug is the header so the name of the file that you see here is the header and that's what the slug is so if the name would have been like something else maybe hero then the slug would have been hero there right now inside of this header so header is basically the header template part that we have created which is this one now if you look at the database if you search and see what it stores into the database i'll go with the post name as header so if you take a look that's what it's storing actually into the database right so you've got the group block so if you take a look you've got your group block right and then you've got some html inside of it then you have the column block which is here right so you've got columns block then inside of this you have a column block which is this one and it's got a width of 33%. And that's what you see here. The It's got key value pair JSON object, which is 33%. Uh, if you change this information, then it's going to be updated here. That's how it's going to, when it passes the block, it's going to get that information as to what it needs to use. Then you have the WP site title, and that is for the site title block. So if you go over here, this is your site title block. So it's, it's using that. Uh, then you have the site tagline block. So it's this one. So you can see it's got site site tagline here. Then you have again the column, um, which is a width of 66%. So the second one, the second column right here is a 66% uh, width. And then you have the block column inside of it again. And then it's got the style over here, 33%, 66%. You've got the navigation block, orientation is horizontal. So if you go back here, you click on this, there's a navigation block and the orientation is horizontal for this one. Then you just got this closing uh, tags for page list, navigation, column, columns and group, all right? So that's what's happening in the header. Uh, so we are, by using this template part, we're able to include that header block template part into our page template, which is index.html. Then you have this group block. Um, so if you go back to templates and you go to index and you take a look here, so you've got this group block here, right? So that's what we have, the group block. And then it's got a tag name called main. So remember that we had put the tag name, which is main over here, there you go. And then it's got a class name. So remember we had given a class name here, so that's being passed. It's using the main tag because that's what we asked it to do. And this is what WordPress uh, Gutenberg adds as default class. 
and then this is a class added by us and then you have the inner block and then you finally have the query block so if you go back here if you click on the query block so that's what it's outputting here the query information query id you can see it has per page equals 10 like if you modify this information it will change how many pages offset post type post category ids tag ids order by so you've got a bunch of information there uh, so these all information are also going to be picked up from here so like if you want to include or exclude sticky uh, you know you can modify that information so these information will be uh, added to the blog grammar json then you have the query loop starting over here you've got the post featured image so if you take a look inside of this you've got the post featured image which is this one and is link equals true because we set the link settings to true and then you've got the post date block so coming back you've got post date block and then you've got post title so again this is post title and we set the make title link to true that's why you have this uh, block grammar json is link set to true then we have the paragraph uh, this needs to idly go uh, shouldn't be a empty paragraph i think there has been discussion about it and it should be removed uh, then you have the ending of the query loop then you have the query pagination block so if you go on to for here you can see query pagination so this is this is responsible for displaying that and inside of this is the class applied by wordpress you've got the query pagination previous so if you take a look this is previous this one right here and then you have got the pagination numbers so then you have pagination numbers which is this set of things and then you have the pagination next so let's go back you've got pagination next which is this one right here and then uh, you've got an ending of query pagination block and then uh, query block and then group block etc then we are having the footer so like we had the header same way we are having footer i'm not going to go ahead and just explain everything again over here but you understand how it works so for latest comment block you have this for the tag cloud block you have got this uh, block grammar here right uh, so that's how our index page is completed and um, now if you go back to a single dot html the same thing a similar thing is happening over here we've got header we've got footer as well and then we've got the we've got the group block we have got a tag name site content inside of this we also have the we also have another template part called sidebar here okay so we've got the template part block template part sidebar and basically you've got all of this entire layout the title date post author featured image post content all of that stuff right now if i want to create a page template which will be used for pages there are a couple of ways to do it either i can again go over here to templates click on this plus sign click on the page and then you know add that or i can just go over here create so remember that for for page you used to create page.php right so since is going to be an html file we'll create page.html because page.html corresponds to page.php so let's hit the page.html and i'm going to copy the single.html because the markup and everything is the same so i'm going to use the same thing just copy paste right so the moment you do that uh, you'll notice that if i refresh i will have another page template available called back to theme templates and i can see that you've got the page available as well right so that's great but what you'll notice is that if you go back to the dashboard and if you go to the templates you won't really see that the reason for this is because you've added that to the theme but it's not really saved into the database so if you want that to be saved into the database you need to go back over here and then click on this page so now if you go and check you can see it's displaying all of the content if you may want to make any edits you can and if you click on the update design and if you save it and now if you go back if you refresh you can see you've got the page now right awesome okay so congratulations we've actually got the page also set up so now i can click on sample page and it takes me to that about page it takes me to that contact us and takes me to that awesome so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and um, 
do follow me on github my github handle is imran it's sayyad and my twitter handle is cory tech so in the next video we're going to talk about the global styles all right so i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much